Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be doing a deposit stealth and entry point solo. It's gonna be rookie um, difficulty, so easy. So if you're new, um, this is what you should do. So go ahead and click edit loadout. Also just saying, this is for the thief class. If you're a different class, hacker, engineer, whatever. Um, yeah, go watch a different video. So, in this, um, for this, you'd need this loadout. So, click on primary, and if this is stealth, you need, this is stealth, okay? So, you need a UP9, uh, so click that, and go to manage weapons, click your UP9, and go to barrel, and click on suppressor. And once you're back here, it should say concealed and suppress. Go to gear, click the silent drill and click the lock pick. So let's get that. And then click confirm, finish, and start game. All right, so you can go ahead and pause the video here, uh, read this, but it's not necessary because I'll guide you through it anyway. So I'm going to start. Remember, you can pause right here, or five seconds ago. I said now instead of now. All right, so um, what you're going to do is walk over here. You can click hold down tab for controls, like that. Control on the side. Controls on the side. Um, all right, so you can run whatever you want. And we're going to do something called a cam bait. So you're going to want to go over here, uh, disable the camera. It won't give you the option to loop it since you don't have the perk. Don't worry about it. In the bottom left corner, it says uh, how civilians receive you. Um, you can look up a video on YouTube about that if you want to know more. I'm gonna make a video about how civilians receive you, so you can look at that. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna make a video. You could just go and uh, look up a YouTube video. And you're gonna wanna click one once you're down here. Not yet, right now. And then you aim down sights to hostage them. You do that, they might drop a key card. Um, if you do, if they don't drop a key card, that's, I feel bad for you. And then you're just gonna click V to knock them out, and then you're gonna take their disguise. Sorry if my mic sounds a little choppy, I'm using the default one. Uh, I'm not some rich guy, alright. I mean, I, I could buy a mic, but I'm not gonna put money into that. Um... Wait for a guard to come here. I'll show you why. Wait for them to walk over. Don't equip your gun. Um, just keep waiting. Because I'm trying to avoid using my drill. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, they're walking over. And then once they... Also, them. Knock them out. It's the key card. They might not always drop a key card. If you get lucky, they will. Not that lucky. Target. You hold G to interrogate. Um, they might give you the safe combination. All right, they did. And then carry them. Make sure you hide all their bodies by carry them. That's hiding them. 
Put your drill in the bag. Put your drill in the bag and take your key card with you. Make sure you don't forget your key card. The key card is very important in this game. Once you get that first card rid of, once you get rid of them, um. You can make your way over here. Go upstairs. Go all the way upstairs. That's the manager. He'll she'll be useful later. Show you why. Um, no guards. Okay. Take this lock. Uh, the safe isn't in here. Only hackers can hack this, or if you have the Prodigy perk, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, but the safe's not here. You don't have to get the safe combination to open it. It's just recommended to, since you can open it a, a little bit faster. Not that much, just a little bit. So open this. And pull out your gun and hostage. I did it slow to kind of show you how to do it, but you try to do it as fast as possible. So you don't get caught because the button's right here so you could press it and well yeah knock them out the vault key card is in that safe right there so you can all go ahead and grab that too hide their body here you don't have to take the key card since you already have one right here in your inventory so just leave it i'll go ahead and open the safe take out your, take off your gun not necessary but do it anyway. Um, you can use your gun to aim and get it. And then quickly get out so no one gets sus of you. And then they're right here, so they might be a pain to open this, but I guess they're not noticing. All right. I'm going to go here. Now you just gotta search archives. Try to get you're gonna have to you're gonna get a box ID once you find it. And if you get lucky blueprints. I'll show you what the blueprints do. If you don't get blueprints, uh, it's a little bit harder, but it's st it'll still work. Um Alright, those are blueprints. I mean not the blueprints, those are the ID box. So it says on plan B, it says ID the target box 125. That's the box we're going to find in the safe. Okay, got the blueprints. That, you don't have to keep searching once you get both. Go to the manager. Make the um, suspicion meter go up one bar. Move back a little bit. Keep the sus suspicion meter going up. Once it reaches uh, all the way. Carry the uh, guard. I shouldn't have shot him like that. Move them here. Interrogate the manager. This is kind of messy the way I'm doing it. I didn't uh, mean for this to happen, but got to do what we got to do. Uh, open the door, leave it open, run in there quickly, put a body there. Take the manager's body. Uh, I wasn't supposed to lure the guard or the worker. You're supposed to do it on the other side, but um, we gotta do this anyway. So once I've taken care of that, you can leave the vault key card since we already have it here. And I got the blueprints. So this is going to be easy for me since I have blueprints. Then you're going to make your way down here. Open the store. And make sure you leave that door open. Wait, why? Actually, it's not that necessary actually at all. And then you're going to want to drill the sensors. But you're like, oh, I don't have a drill. Okay, well. 
um, you can get rid of your um, lockpick kit momentarily. Just to, uh, so put the lockpick thing in here and take the drill so you don't have to drop anything. And then drill the sensor. Um, this is why you need a drill, by the way. Um, but you could also not end up using the drill for another, for a different reason. And, all right, then you're gonna put the drill back and take the lock picking thing. Uh, make sure, now we start the, put the keypad in. Now that you, you when you interrogate the manager, you get the vault code. And then if you open the safe, you get the vault key card or from the manager too. You could go in, but there will be a guard that will um, I'll come out here. Keep your gun out. The guard will come and check the safe, the vault. So as soon as they open the door, aim down sights right away. Do it right now, I think. So just keep waiting, don't go in. You could, but I would recommend just waiting because then you'd have to run all the way here. Just keep waiting. Uh, this part's kind of annoying because you gotta wait a lot, but I recommend it. I guess maybe this time they just didn't come, so. I'm going. So, one, two, five. If you ever hear, like, the, you know, when you take a hostage, it makes, like, a specific sound. If you hear that, um, go run all the way back over there. I thought that was a sound. I just had a heart attack. A bag of the cash, if you have the blueprints. If you didn't get blueprints, um, Yeah. This is if you got blueprints. Now let's pray that no one came down. Yeah, I don't think anyone heard it. I guess no one was near the vault. You could run, whatever you want. Really? All right. And then, um, right here. That's it. Uh, the safe, the, um, the cash was 250 that I took at the end. And yeah, that's how you solo stealth deposit on Rookie. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys later. Bye guys.